And for the first time, we're hearing those chilling 911 calls made moments after that Navy jet crashed into a Virginia Beach apartment complex. Firefighters arrived three minutes after getting the first call. Yeah. This is Beach Police Dispatch. We just got a call from the summer. Is there yeah, hold on one second. There's a terrible fire at the Mayfair Muse apartment building. Okay. Oh, my God. It's, it's like it's What's the address keeps, over there? Something keeps exploding or something. Today, many of the people impacted by that crash, explosion, and fire started getting much-needed help. And tonight, we have live team coverage on the latest from the investigation to past incidents involving the FA-18 jet. We're going to start things off with Andy Fox, live from the crash site in Virginia Beach. Yeah, Tom, they continue taking more and more of the debris away. You can see behind me what's left of the apartment complex here. An aircraft mishap safety investigation is underway. The search for the cause and previously undetected hazards continue. But today was a day to get money to the people who are the victims here so that they can move on with their lives. Many escape with the clothes on their back. The badly needed triple E extraordinary emergency expense checks issued by the Navy filled in on a typewriter through the night created more Navy heroes for Mayfair Muse victims. All I can say is God bless them all. They're heroes in my eyes. They really are. But I want to get in and see the damage they won't let me see. I have no clothes except what's on my back. But four days after miraculous survival doesn't mean you're okay. There's lots of stress disorder and emotion. I was hoping I would be killed rather than going through this. I have no husband, no family here. This has been the worst nightmare of my life. Ben Dishner lost his home and his job in maintenance at Mayfair Muse. It's a big emotional blow to run out and see your house smashed to bits and know that you know you you've lost everything and your your cat's in there and it's dead property manager earl moyer an employee 11 years i mean how do you really deal with stuff like this you know no training the epa is measuring air samples at six areas on site and one area off site so far air samples within the safe zone it's so early into the investigation, but the crash could have ramifications in the future, dealing with Oceana and BRAC and surrounding population encroachment. The city of Virginia Beach, the city of Chesapeake, and, and the Navy have partnered to reduce, uh, to reduce the footprint around Oceana. I think we're well positioned for, for any BRAC rounds to come in the future, but that's a political decision, and the Navy will deal with that when it comes. For today, just another day of thankfulness. God! Rich down said, all right, you go here, you go here, you go here. All right, guys, go ahead and land it. It was very orchestrated from above. Yeah, orchestrated from above. So as you can see, uh, Alvita, in that report, there are a lot of issues here. What is clear is that the apartment complex remains closed down, and these people will f have to find a, a new place to live, but they will be helped with the Navy checks, and there could be more checks coming. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Thank you, Andy.